Hello and welcome to Session Lab. I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use Session Lab to speed up your workshop design process and to get an easy visual overview of your session design. Now I've begun working on a new workshop called a Team Dynamics Workshop and I know this is going to begin at nine o'clock in the morning so I can already set that starting time there. Now each of the blocks in my session represent one activity or one part of my agenda and I can choose to show and hide certain specific columns along the top here or I can resize the width of any column by clicking, dragging and dropping there. Now I know this is going to be a four hour long session so I'm already going to add a closing block here um, at 12.50 and you can see that it lasts for 10 minutes and we've got the session end time here at one o'clock so I know we're Got, we're planning between nine and one, and we've got three hours and 40 minutes left to plan. Now, four hours might already be quite a lot without a break. So I'm going to add in a break block here. I'm going to set that duration for 15 minutes. Now, for all the activities I create, I can use a custom color coding scheme. I just need to click here and choose the color that I would like. And this denotes the type of interaction um, and the mix of activities in my session. So I can make sure I've got a nice um, blend of the different types of activities. And I'm going to lock this break beginning at 11 o'clock so I can see how much time I have to plan before and after. Now, next, I'd like to add an icebreaker after this introduction. And Session Lab is integrated with a large public library full of activities. And I'd like to search for and use the group map activity, one of my favorite icebreakers, where we're going to ask uh, the participants to line up according to certain criteria. And here it is. I can click to open it up to read a bit more detail. And I can just click, drag, and drop, and pop it into my agenda, and then close off this side panel here. Now, 20 minutes is good for this, and it already has a relevant category color here. But at any point, I can just click, drag, and drop, and move any blocks around within my session to reorg order them. And if I do adjust the timing, then the timing would automatically up the update here as well. Now, before we go into this icebreaker, which I'd like to move back up before the break, I'd like to have a short check-in round. So I'm going to create a new block there. I'm going to call it a check-in um, and I'm going to set just five minutes for this activity and maybe give it um, a bit of an introduction a category color there. Now, every activity that you create in Session Lab is reusable. And I can show you this if I search instead for teamwork, but instead of the method library, I'm going to search in blocks in, for set for blocks in sessions that I've previously created because I know there's a nice teamwork group here that's got a great debrief at the end of it. And I'd like to use that in the session. So again, I can just click, drag, drop and put that into my agenda wherever I would like to. Now, at any point in your session design process, you can invite collaborators to come along and work with you. So I clicked on the share button there. and I'd like to invite my colleague, Christina, to come along and work on this session plan with me. And I can choose for her to be an editor or for her to be a viewer here. Um, and then I can send the invitation. However, if I simply want to share this agenda with co-facilitators and clients, and I don't want them to have to create a Session Lab account, I can share the visitor link here and this will send them the session where they can make some comments or a link to the online agenda, a stripped back view of the timings and titles of my session. I could also easily export this session to PDF um, or to Word here. And when I create a PDF, I can choose the type of export that I'd like to create. So here I have the agenda and details view, um, or I can choose to have a simple day overview if I wish. But I can also choose to show and hide certain columns from my um, from my export if I would like to customize how this would look. There we go. I hope this was useful to you. Now, happy session planning.